Okay, I'm getting ready to give this bottom part a coat of epoxy. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, one way is to is to put epoxy on here and then put more epoxy on, more epoxy on, and then go ahead and wet sand it and level it all off. Um, on these type of racing boards, I'm a minimalist. So basically all I do is give this a coat of epoxy so that it's shiny and then I don't do anything else to it. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to give this a nice coat of epoxy. I haven't decided if I want to do it colored yet. Um, so stay tuned and we'll see what color I choose for this. I'm going to go with this brown. I've been wanting to experiment with this, this brown and I haven't done it yet. So this is just an epoxy pigment from uh, Systems 3. Um, it says to use no more than than 10 percent so i'm just going to put a little bit on this uh, popsicle stick here and if i need to add more i will You can use a paintbrush if you want, but I find that I get bristles all over the place. So I like using this little squeegee here. And all I'm going to do is put this on here. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this real great, but it, uh, it didn't turn out quite as good as I wanted it to. I probably should have just done straight epoxy on the black but oh well it was an experiment so i thought i'd give it a shot anyway you can you can kind of see it there shadows getting in the way so you come around this side you can see there that that uh, pill ply texture looks kind of cool i think with it makes it kind of sparkly Here's something that I've been wanting to try and haven't gotten around to it, but since this is an experimental board, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on here. Um, basically, I've got some undercoat sound eliminator and some truck bed coating. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking this uh, truck bed coating and using it on the sides here. And what I'm hoping will happen is, is that'll give it a little bit more grip on the side. Um, carbon fiber is really slick, so I'm hoping that this stuff will help give you a little more grip for your hand to hold on to. Also, it's abrasion resistant, so if you hit a rock or something, it'll protect your board. This uh, undercoat, it's a sound eliminator and, uh, and dampening um, agent. So basically what will happen is, is I'll spray it in the truck mount area. And then when I mount the truck to this, uh, hopefully it'll help dampen some of the uh, road vibrations um, that come up through the, uh, the truck to the board. So make it a nice smooth ride. Um, I've got the board all taped off in the uh, particular areas that, uh, that I need to put this stuff. So let's see how it goes. Okay, you can see here on the board, I put some uh, tape down. Um, I still want uh, the carbon fiber to show right there. So I put the tape down and then I sanded this with some um, 180 or 220, I don't remember. But that's just so that the, uh, the epoxy that I'm gonna put on there will bond. Um, I've got uh, this Tread-X. Instead of using grip tape, I'm gonna use some Tread-X on this. Um, I don't have any grip tape, I didn't wanna buy any, and I had this laying around, so that's why I'm using that. Also, I think it's going to be cool for the, uh, the carbon fiber to show through just a little bit on the grip. So I've got my epoxy mixed up, I've got my squeegee, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and wet this out with the squeegee, and then I'm going to use this Tredex and this shaker. I got this for 99 cents at Walmart, and I'm just going to sprinkle the uh, Tredex on there.
All right, I've let this sit for a couple hours now and it's uh, pretty much cured. Uh, the next thing I've got to do now is wipe some, some epoxy here on the top of that Tredex. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this time I'm going to use a, uh, a brush, just a cheap one. And the first thing you got to do is make sure you get all the bristles out of it that are loose. And then um, just dip it and go for it. Try not to put too much on. so that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna let it uh, set up just a little bit so it gets a little bit uh, more gelled and then when I take the tape off the the, uh, the epoxy won't run into that that area that's already been finished so I'm just gonna give it a couple minutes and then I'm gonna pull that tape off of there and it's pretty much done all right I just got done um, putting the Tredex on here and wanted to show you what this looks like so here's the uh, finished blank or board. You can see there that the brown sticks out just a little bit, but not too much. You can also see here we've got that grip on here. That actually worked out pretty good. This other stuff, this undercarriage stuff, is pretty nasty to work with. Hopefully it'll be nicer tomorrow. But I'm hoping that that'll produce some, some vibration dampening from the road. So anyway, I don't know. I think you probably could have used the, uh, the truck liner for this too and probably have a better experience so I'll try that probably on the next board but here's what the uh, the Tredex looks like you can see there that it gives it some color but if you if you look at it just right I don't know if I can get it to do it but you can kinda still see the uh, weave pattern there in the sun so it's kinda cool so anyway that worked out good um, now all I got to do is put some, some screw holes on this for the uh, truck mounts.